हेलो गाइस, आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग गुड आई एम विशाली की कान एंड वी आर डिस्कसिंग द ऑप्टिकल कम्युनिकेशन। इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट अ न्यू टॉपिक दैट इज द सिग्नल एटीन्यूएशन इन द ऑप्टिकल फाइबर टिल नाउ वी हैव स्टडीड वेरियस टॉपिक्स इन द ऑप्टिकल कम्युनिकेशन दैट इज द रे थियोरी ऑफ द लाइट द वेव थियोरी ऑफ द लाइट आफ्टर दैट वी हैड स्टडीड अबाउट द डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ द ऑप्टिकल फाइबर दैट इज द स्टेप इंडेक्स फाइबर एंड द ग्रेडेड इंडेक्स फाइबर इन डिटेल we have talked about the various modes that are present in the different types of optical fibers as well so today in this video we are going to talk about the various losses that are incurred when the light is traveling from the transmitter to the receiver as the source of information right so light is taking the information from the transmitter to the receiver inside the optical fiber and the optical fiber is giving various losses towards the propagation of the light as an information so we are going to understand about these losses and due to the losses due to the various obstructions which are given by the optical fiber our signal get distorted it is going to reduce in its amplitude this is called the signal attenuation right the amplitude is reduced due to the various losses right so we are going to understand in detail about this unit and in this unit we have various topics like the attenuation we are going to understand right after that we are going to talk about the absorption extrinsic and the intrinsic absorption both of them we are going to study we are going to talk about the various type of scattering losses raman scattering losses my scattering losses we are going to talk about all of them after that we are going to talk about the fiber bend losses due to the bending of the fiber also we have some losses we are going to talk about the fiber bend losses in detail right so let's start our discussion so now when the optical fiber was introduced when it was introduced when it was introduced to send the light in between the transmitter to the receiver with the help of the channel which was the glass it was observed that the losses were significant right the light cannot travel from the transmitter to the receiver without these significant losses and for the practical applications we wanted these losses to be minimized when the losses were as high as 1000 db per kilometer signal attenuation was very high the losses was very high signal attenuation was very high and the signal couldn't tra transmit to a longer distance without the use of the repeaters and when i am using the repeaters what does it mean when i am using the repeater which means i am increasing the cost of the transformation of the signal yes if i increase the cost of the transmittance of the signal what will happen i will having the overall increase in the cost of the communication right so there are various factors which are governing the performance of the fiber so we have to understand what are all these factors which are giving the losses inside the optical fiber which is hindering its practical applications because when these losses are present we will not be able to use this optical fiber practically so we have to understand which all factors are there which are making it non usable for the practical applications and we have to choose these factors very carefully we have to minimize these factors and then we can do the practical communication with the help of the optical fiber 1966 as i have already told you when kao and ho came and they were discovering about the transmittance of the light as the signal which is containing the information and also words were also involved in this investigation with Kao and Ho Kam, and they found that the glass can be used as a medium of the propagation of the light, but there is a problem that we had very high uh, losses. So you can see over here we have thousand dB per kilometer losses or attenuation was present. So attenuation, which means I cannot propagate my signal to a longer distance because the losses. the attenuation was this high 1000 decibel loss or attenuation per kilometer so i cannot use the glass as a channel for the propagation of the light 
so now a large attenuation decrease the possibility of glass as a medium to transmit the light i have already told you so there were further investigation that were done and it was found out that it was not the problem that was present in the glass the glass was not the problem what was the problem the problem was the impurities that were present in the glass right so somehow if i can purify the glass i can reduce the attenuation so with the help of further investigation it was observed that the large attenuation was due to the impurities that was present inside the glass right so when the glass was purified now after purification the attenuation reduced drastically exponentially it reduced and it was found below 20 db per kilometer right so it was as low as 20 db per kilometer it was reduced from 1000 db per kilometer so you can see in 1970 only after 4 years how much reduction in the attenuation we had observed so since 1970s we started working upon the purification of the glass yes so we had various improvements which leads to the purification of the silica glass glass is made of silica we were de developing various methods to purify the silica glass and now losses less than 0.2 db per kilometer were observed in the laboratory by the late 1980s only after 10 years what losses were we having we were having 0.2 db per kilometer which was very less now we can use the glass as a channel for transmitted transmitting of the light as an information right so now bandwidth is limited by the signal dispersion within the fiber so the first thing that we had the problem was the signal attenuation we had already talked about the signal attenuation we had talked about how we can reduce the signal attenuation now the second factor was the bandwidth what i want i want as high bandwidth as possible why when the bandwidth is high i can transmit the signal at a very high rate so the channels capacity would be high if the bandwidth is high signal transmission rate would be high right so bandwidth is a very important factor which is a very determining factor for the optical communication so it is limited by signal dispersion as the signal disperses it is expanded in the time domain then the bandwidth will be reduced so it determines the number of bits the information is transmitted in the glass per unit time so now if i have the given uh, time in that time how many bits of information is transmitting as i already told you the bandwidth is a major criteria to determine the speed of the information as we all want a higher speed device we all want to be in a state of the world where we are getting the information very fast so for that i require higher bandwidth and for that i had to reduce the dispersion losses so we are going to talk about the dispersion also so after reducing the attention the attention was directed towards the dispersive properties of the fiber now we had to reduce the dispersion so substantial improvements were done giving wideband fiber bandwidth of many tens of gigahertz over a number of kilometers so when i have this high bandwidth which means the information would be traveled inside the optical fiber at a very high speed so now there are various attenuation mechanism there which are present first is the material absorption so we have already talked about the attenuation we know now attenuation is the reduction in the amplitude of the signal now dispersion means we are increasing the width of the signal so now when i have the material absorption material which material we are using we are using the glass or the silica as the optical fiber right so whenever i am using this glass or silica it is going to absorb some light so it is going to give me some kind of attenuation to the signal then we have the linear scattering we are going to talk about the non linear scattering as well so this is also going to give me some losses after that the fiber bands we are going to talk about the fiber bands at the end part of this attenuation now attenuation offered by the fiber determines how much maximum distance 
the signal is going to travel without the use of the repeater so without the repeaters it is going to travel a maximum distance or without ma making it decayed or reduced to a unacceptable level where its amplitude will not be detected right so fiber became attractive for communication after the attenuation in the fiber was reduced to 5 db per kilometer so attenuation that was offered by the transmission line was around 5 db per kilometer and when i reduced the attenuation of the optical fiber below the 5 db per kilometer then it became very attractive right so now we are having the advantage over the transmission line or the electrical wires with which I can transmit the signal. I have lesser attenuation. Attenuation is expressed in decibel and the formula for the attenuation is calculated in the number of decibels which is 10 log 10 P in upon P out which is the power input upon the power output. And we are taking the log of it. Okay. So this is how we can find out the number of decibels. So now further we can represent it as P input upon P output as 10 raised to power dB upon 10. So this is how we can rearrange it. So log can be converted into 10 raised to power and this is we have reduced it. So using the log in the calculation help us to reduce the operations which are multiplication. So multiplication is reduced into addition. Division is reduced into subtraction. We can easily do subtraction, but we have some problems doing the divisions right at the signal level. So to reduce the complexity of our calculations, we are going to reduce our operations with the help of the logarithmic. This is the reason we had used the logarithmic. Otherwise, we can use this formula very well. So attenuation, the optical fiber is expressed in the term of attenuation per unit length. Right, with the help of unitary method, now if I have the attenuation per unit length, I know how long is our optical fiber, I am going to calculate the total attenuation. Now, if the attenuation per unit length is alpha, I know the length is L. So, the total attenuation would be alpha in dB multiplied with length, it is equal to 10 log 10 pi upon p output. So, if I know the length, I will divide it with 10 log 10 pi by p out and then I am going to get the attenuation per unit length. Now attenuation the optical fibers are, the, are there with the help of various reasons. First is material absorption. So I have already talked about the various factors which are going to give the attenuation. I told you material absorption. The material that I am using either I am using the glass or I am using the silica. So both of them are going to attenuate my signal and we can have the intrinsic absorption or we can have the extrinsic absorption. So we are going to talk about both of them then we have the scattering losses. So we have the linear scattering losses and the non-linear scattering losses. Then we have the fiber bending losses. So now here I am going to conclude my session. This is an introductory session on the attenuation. I hope you like this session. If you like it, please push the like button, subscribe to the channel and do meet me in the next session very soon and give me your feedback as well. Thank you so much.